In addition to its gorgeous beaches, the Caribbean island of Cuba has other less known features, such as this mangrove swamp. The word mangrove comes from a Guarani word meaning twisted tree. Underwater, mangrove roots look like a twisted mass of vegetation. The many roots stabilize the sand and mud. Ocean water and fresh water mix here. The mix is full of nutrients, fish and crustaceans. Plants have adapted to the lack of oxygen and easily reproduce, turning the swamp's floor into a tangle of vegetation. The area under the water is a labyrinth and above the surface it's an aquatic jungle. Many other leafy and woody plants thrive in addition to the mangroves. This is a habitat for great quantities of vegetation and many animals as well. A snake slithers along a mangrove limb. Is he looking for some eggs for breakfast? Or for a distracted rodent for an appetizer? These mangroves develop in a very individual fashion. Their seeds are long and pointed, and when they drop, they have several options. They may float away, germinate, or grow roots to sink into the swamp floor. It looks very peaceful here, but it's not. To birds, the mangrove swamp seems like a peaceful place to nest, especially if they eat fish. Many animals live off the mangrove's leaves and fruit. I'm looking carefully for anything that moves in the treetops and anything that may emerge from under the water. This is a Cuban or Desmarais sutia, and this is a boa. And these floating tree trunks with eyes are mangrove crocodiles.